And there you go. Well, just got back in from uh, the ASO show up in Hilliard, Ohio. And uh, got to meet a few people up there today. First, uh, met with uh, Mr. Commissioner Tom and his lovely wife, G or, I was going to call her Judy. That's Tim's wife, Jenny. <laughs> I thought he might as mad at John because he didn't show up. But uh, I guess I'll have to meet him some other time. Then uh, while we were standing there talking, here come a uh, redneck lowlife walking past and got to meet him and uh, got to see his beautiful clovis he found this spring. Man, he says, here, he says, hold it. Uh, there's no way. If I'd have dropped that thing, Flint's Bald never let me live that down. Of course, I wouldn't have lived it down anyway. But uh, after that, along came uh, Clarence, and I didn't get introduced to her, but I think it may have been his wife. And um, his tech guy, Zach, and then I believe his nephew, Braden, they were there and I just missed Commissioner Tom and Jenny. They had just left about 10 minutes prior to that. But I uh, got to see some awfully nice stuff. And um, boy, I seen a guy that had his grandfather's collection. And he had a Hickston disc, probably 10 inches around and an inch and a half thick. And, man, I tell you what, it sure reminded me of a sun disc. But um, it was absolutely gorgeous. But, uh, basically, yeah, I was putting this video up for, uh, for a response to Flint Spall's material video. And um, I've got two or three of these pieces around here, but... For the life of me, I can't find but one of them. And uh, so I'll show it. And then I'll show a uh, another piece. And um, this here is a piece of moss agate. Flint Ridge moss agate. You can see the little, little ex exclusion, or exclusions, inclusions in it. And uh, this is out of that Greenville collection. But um, as you can see, it doesn't look translucent. Not much. Until you get it up here at this light. Now yeah, if I can get a good shot of it. If I switch it around here in my hand. Yeah, that's a little better. Kind of looks like it, don't it, Flint's ball? But, on top of that, I believe I think I, I mentioned in the comment I left to him on his materials video about a book. And this is it right here. And it's Prehistoric Turk Types of the Midwest by Tony Dragnacourt and Jer or Jeff G George Lady. <laughs> Georgia D. Uh, something like that. But, on page nine of this thing is Flint Ridge er, Moss Agate. And I've seen this in a couple different shades of color. As a matter of fact, I believe I've got one that's got a greenish tint somewhere around it. But, I just wanted to show you that. And if anybody's interested in getting into materials from their area, this book covers, uh, covers Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, West Virginia, Tennessee, and I believe some New York. I guess I could probably, 
open it up here and take a look. It, I refer to this um, every once in a while, especially when something's got me stumped. But this is all Ohio pieces here. Then we go into Indiana, Kentucky, Illinois, Ontario, Michigan, West Virginia, Tennessee, New York, Wisconsin, Virginia, North Dakota, Pennsylvania, Arkansas, miscellaneous, wherever that is. I think it might be somewhere between here and there. But uh, it's an excellent book. And like the one plate that I showed you, they have a plate of different different colors and textures not so much texture but stripes striations etc etc shades they give you a great description get this page turned back here and it tells you where origin origin boy i can't talk today for nothing originates and then other names for the same type and similar ones and outcroppings everything in here it shows you the hues of different colors of it so kind of narrows it down pretty good and uh, prehistoric utilization is one of the one of the key things for me because um, it'll tell you in here just about what that type of chert was primarily used for and what period it comes out of. And I think that's pretty cool. But anyhow, I just wanted to give you a shot of that and uh, show that piece of moss agate that I got. I, I hunted around here all over the place, can't find no more. But I did pick up a couple little things up at the show. And uh, I didn't have anything with this type of material. So I just had to get a couple of them. They's pretty cheap. Then uh, I got one piece to give my girlfriend just to keep her happy. But that was pretty cool. Shoot, I would pay three bucks for that. Then these here do have a little bit of restoration on them. But I really didn't care. You can see the restoration on the tip and a little bit right on the end of that base corner. I thought this was a really sweet point because it's got right hand bevel. But I guess I'll quit chewing your ear off and uh, I appreciate Mr. Tim Hampton, Double D Hampton for uh, going up there with me. I enjoyed the company. And uh, it wasn't a boring ride at all either way. But uh, I guess I will talk to y'all later. And you have yourselves a good one. Hope you out there finding some good ones. I know Ben and Flint's ball are. But uh, we'll see you soon. Oh, as a matter of fact, speaking of Ben, Ben, I did get your package in the mail. And, uh, well, it's kind of out in the truck, and I'd have to shut this thing off and everything else. So I'll get them on, get them on the next vid. And I appreciate them, and I'll stick them right in here as soon as I get this case straightened up. And uh, display them with all the rest of my Wilson County, North Carolina finds. All right, y'all take care. See you soon, I hope. Bye.